Hey guys, Classic Armor here. Welcome to Let's Play Dragon Quest 3. That was just the little pop-up screen when the uh, translated ROM hack loads. So, if you couldn't tell, this is going to be another one of the Super Nintendo Dragon Quest re-releases. And that's probably the best way to play this one. However, there is a re-release in America or, you know, North America, of the same game on the Game Boy Color. It just won't look as pretty. So, this one actually opens with the scene. It will be in the Game Boy Color one, too. So I suggest, if you want to play along, you may as well go ahead and watch this. It's a good setup for the rest of the game. It's not completely necessary, but it's nice. In fact, they even had this in the NES and, I think, Famicom version of the game as well. Of course, they use the old English speak in those games, but that's alright. So, there's evil threatening the world in the kingdom of Aliahan, or Aliahan, is calling upon its hero Ortega to go and take care of the problem. So, obviously we're Ortega, right? I mean, we're always the hero. And Ortega is having, well, Ortega's not having a baby, his wife is having a baby. Or, just had a baby, actually. So, these men are at their house to, you know, move things along and present a helmet. A parting gift. Which will be important, as you may imagine. A gift from the king is nothing to scoff at. Ortega's dutiful wife will bring it up to him. Oh look, there's the baby in the other room too. No, we have to go. We have to take care of things now. It's kind of a... a trope kind of a thing though. The husband having to go and take care of danger before his unborn or newborn children. But I do love the adventurous music they play here, which is the world map music. It's amazing! So, apparently we're not Ortega. Surprise, surprise, we don't get to play as the hero. We're uh, watching something of him walking around, though. Doing his adventures, getting into battles and volcanoes, nearly dying and struggling to reach town. I mean, come on, how hard can it possibly be? We did Dragon Quest 1 all alone. So, apparently Ortega's in bad condition. In a bad way. Kid didn't run off that way. <laughs> Whatever. Old man's like, take me to him, the kid runs a completely different direction than the old man goes. And Ortega continues on, apparently without his helmet now. That doesn't sound like a great idea. Wow, that boat sprites massive compared to the boat in the previous game. Yeah, apparently this game is actually running on, like, a prototype engine for Dragon Quest VI. Which is interesting, different. Didn't think that, uh. Didn't realize that until, uh, reading up about it a little bit. This music! This is. This scene is probably the best reason I'll be watching the intro. So the other stuff sets up a bit who Ortega is and everything, but this is just a really cool in, um, animation for the Super Nintendo. They even had something pretty similar on the NES. It wasn't quite as action-packed, but... Oh my god, this is pretty. Very pretty for something that Super Nintendo or Famicom was doing in, like... Oh goodness, I don't want to say the wrong date. I don't actually know offhand. I'm gonna say... 95 or so? And I'll probably put up a quick pop-up about what the actual date was. But still, this is a... 
These are practically graphics that you'd expect to see on the PlayStation. Oh, he died! Ortega falls into a volcano. Oh. In the, uh... I think in the Game Boy Color version, it actually starts playing sad music, like, as soon as he falls in and the camera pans up. Oh, look. The baby's up on his feet. Wow, must have been a long time then. Oh. Damn. Damn. I'm surprised that any of these soldiers could actually make it out there. Yeah, we're right here, King. We're, uh, totally within earshot. Yeah. Of course he wouldn't. I mean, he did go all alone. And it's not impossible to complete this journey alone. It's just not suggested. At least not for your first try. Wow. This lady is either insane or truly wants to have something good come about. Sacrificing not only her husband, but also her young child. Sending them off to fight Baramos. And this music. Oh god, half of what I love about Dragon Quest is probably the music. Does anyone think that map looks somewhat familiar down there? If you don't see it now, don't worry, I'll point it out much later. For now, let's go ahead and get this started. We're just enjoying the music for a moment. Okay. So let's create an adventure log. Let's do it on one. I will be Homer as usual. Because it's who I is. Mm, yeah, I have a penis. There we go. And unlike the Famicom or NES version of the game, this one starts off with a personality test. Which is important, because your personality determines your stat growth, and instead of your class. It's actually really cool. I like it a lot. So, we're apparently talking to God? A being from the sky? Great voice in the sky? Whatever. And they're going to ask us about ourselves, and we'll have to answer honestly and figure out more about who we are. I will... Whatever, everyone either knows what my real name is, or... You're learning now. Born April on the 22nd. Yeah, I'm a Taurus. Yeah, that's Arbor Day. Okay, ask me questions. And I could manipulate my answers here, because I do actually have a uh, guide with a personality test chart that I can go through and get the personality I want. I won't, because that would be insincere. So, I'll answer these questions as honestly as I can, and maybe we'll learn a little more about myself. However, I do seem to get different answers. Er, well, yeah. But the result does seem to vary sometimes. They have like four different starting places. So. Damn it, I hate. I did. Oh man, I know where this is going already. Are victories achieved only through combat? No. Negotiation also matters. Do I enjoy talking to random town folk? Yes. Can you spot a cave, or are you compelled to explore it? Yes. Would you rather walk further to a cheaper inn than stay at the more expensive one close by? I really don't care, because I can always get more money, so... Mm, no, it's okay. Do you think that you dream a lot? No, not really. Um, no. No. No, they'd have to not with my job. Nah, never give up, always be stubborn. 
my pretty popular? I would have to say no. I don't think I'm that popular. However, I think the people who do know me do like me. <laughs> That's a personality flaw of mine I've been working to stop so badly. I, I do just kind of don't really live in the past, but I let mistakes bother me far longer than I ever should. So, yes. More sorrow than joy in the world. Realistically, I think so, but I like being an optimist. I want... I wish there was more joy in the world. We'll, we'll just say that. Um, honestly, as much of a mature adult as I try to be, I would really rather to just be able to spend all day playing video games. <laughs> it's awful. Yes, always. Okay, let's see what I get. Hopefully it's not the boulder pushing test. That Oh no, this is good. The boulder pushing test is bullshit. Basically you end up with like four or five personality options, and depending on how many boulders you push back down this long path to an old man, you'll get a different personality. So really, it's do I want to spend one second on this? 10 seconds on this? A minute on this? 30 minutes on this? And... What? I'm not... And there we go. Proceed west. Okay, I can follow directions. We'll just head up this way. Whoa! I want to examine the nothing. Danger, do not go north. Okay, I don't like danger. Danger is bad. Hmm. Don't go northwest of here. Okay. I'll just go south. Whatever you say, sign. Disembody sign, I'll believe everything you say. Keep heading north, don't get distracted. But, but treasure! But, ah! Oh. I want treasure. Okay, no, no, I, I can't not get distracted by this. I can't not help people. Yay! We saved a person. But treasure! Uh, okay, well that's fine. If you went any other way, I think you fall into a pit and get not as good a personality reading. Yay, I'm honest! He, actually, I do know that. Not only do does my face change colors, my ears turn red. My face turns green, though. Not really. He... Yeah, I'm an awful liar. I can't lie. Even if I lie to just tease someone, I immediately tell them I'm lying, like, literally half a second later. Just, I do it just to get their initial reaction and then explain the situation. So, yeah, overly cautious of that. If you've ever seen me play XCOM, <laughs> you may disagree. There's never such things overly cautious in that game. However, I do play it super safe. Yeah, I, I... At least this version of the game is less crushing with its personality readings. I've had all my friends play the opening to the Game Boy Color version of the game so that we can see their personality readings, and the game just, like, kicks you in the balls. Like, I think I told Jurichio and another one of my friends the same reading, and that they were, like, absent-minded and just do things on a whim and usually have problems because of this. So, yeah. I I'm not explaining it very well, but if I had to read it, you would just play the Game Boy Color version of it and get your own personality tests. And then leave in the comments what it said, because it's probably really mean. Or at least can come off as being pretty mean. We're gonna go to the castle. And we're gonna follow Mom, which is fine. I like this sound. I like this game. This game's so pretty and good and everything. Now, there, 
is a difference between the uh, Super Famicom and Game Boy Color versions of the game. Mostly in the in-game, post-game content. And maybe some of the translations, because this is, seemed to be done mostly by the Mars Man. And I highly suggest going and finding it. Also, I really doubt he's watching, because this translation was done, like, so long ago. But if the Mars Man is watching, thank you so much. So... We, yeah, we've already heard a couple of times already that, uh, thanks for rubbing it in! God, King, you're such a dick! Oh, by the way, your dad fell on a volcano. Jeez, that's like if everyone came up to me and was like, Oh, by the way, your mother had cancer. Did you remember that? Did you forget that? You were, do you know? It's like, come on! God, just rubbing salt in the wound. I guess it has been, like, 14 years since Ortega fell in said volcano, though. So, apparently, even though it's been that long, Baramos still hasn't destroyed the world. And no one in the world knows who Baramos is, except for, apparently, us. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you see it say, King. Oh, cool, he gave us weapons and armor and almost no money. Yay! Let's take a look at the uh, weapons and armor. Really? Kind of just gave me a bunch of garbage. Well, I guess it's better than not having anything. And yeah, we'll go to the tavern shortly. Eh. Want to speak to this guard? Ah, this is important information. Because in this game, you actually get to build your party. And where you put your party members play a big part in the game. It's part of the battle system. It's a little bit like Final Fantasy. Yeah, well, I know, equip stuff, duh. Played an RPG before. Ooh, let's loot the castle before we uh, end this video off. Also, new to this game, because in the Famicom version of Dragon Quest 3, and I'm pretty sure all the Famicom games before now, I don't think you could search barrels or chests. Well, wow. Well, Drawers. Things like that. Okay. Hmm. I'll be looking for that. Yeah, we'll restore peace, maybe. Unless I fall another into a volcano just like my dad. Oh. Yeah, we'll save. By the way, I don't think it exists in this game. No, it does. Me recall. Memorize. Nifty. You can use the recall spell to recall what someone told you. So, His Majesty is upstairs. Oh, yeah! Damn! I think if you do recall, like, as soon as you wake up... Oh, no, here we go! You can hear what Ortega was saying before he went off. So, that kind of gives us some more character motivation. Our hero still remembers his father's leaving words. And there's all kinds of things in this castle we can't access because of this. This is a thief key door. We need the thief key to open it. Or it's a simple lock door. Whatever. In any case, the thief key is what we need. We do not have. So we'll be looking out for that. And, yeah, we'll go talk to the princess. Sure, why not? Actually, I don't feel like talking to the princess. She's not in danger. Unlike the girl in our dream personality sequence. Oh, hey. He looks important. Now, that's Bakota that I think a guard just told us about. How? <laughs> what? Wow. You must be a really bad thief if an old man got the drop on you. So, Najimi Tower. That's where we need to go see this old man about the thief key. Maybe he'll give it to us if we ask really nice. Maybe. Probably not. But we can try. Wow. I think this soldier actually has more faith in my father than I do. And... 
yeah, well, Baramos probably has a, uh, I don't know. A f nah. I'm trying to think of a good way to put it, other than just saying that he's got a fetish. But fine, here. He's got a fetish for little girls, I bet. At least, pretty princesses. Ooh, antidote herb. And then here... Ah, our first small metal. These are collectibles you can get in this game. I kind of covered them a little bit in Dragon Quest VIII, should anyone watching this have remembered I started that. I'll get back to it when I have better equipment. You know, in real life better equipment, not in the game. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to forget everything I was doing in it. Ah, that's why I have videos online to watch. You know, mine. I don't think it's there. I think it's over here. I think in one of these bushes. If I look, I should be able to find something. But these small metals, you collect them, and once you've gotten enough of them... Wow. It's not there. That sucks. I really thought it was. I might be thinking of a different town, though. Uh, you can... You don't even trade them in. You just show that you have them, and... Okay, no. I'm explaining this wrong. You do trade the small metals in, but it's a collimative thing. It's not like, well, you, you use them as currency. It's, oh cool, you collected this many of them so far. We'll give you this reward. And you do that all right over here. Down this well, this man is looking for small metals from all over the world. If we give him some, he'll give us prizes. We've given him one. We need to give him five to get the spiny whip, which should be the first prize, and a pretty good weapon at the early point of the game. Here is a list of all the items you can get. Spiny Whip is a... It's actually, I think, like the worst whip in the game, but you get it early enough that it's useful. The Garter Belt gives you the sexy personality. I'll go over that later. Blade Ring is a boomerang. It targets the entire group of enemies. Or, not group. The entire fight. Every enemy in the fight. Strength Ring increases your strength. I think it gives you like a tough personality or something like that. Smart Glasses increase your intelligence, make you have a personality. I think it either gives you smart or sharp personality. Ninja Suits, just some armor. Justice Abacus, a weapon for a certain class. Yellow Bandana. I think... Yeah, they do have helmets in this game, don't they? That would be a Helmet or a piece of headgear that'll make you go faster, increase your agility. Dragon Claw is a claw-based weapon, pretty good. Uh, Vivify Staff is a staff, obviously, but you can use the Vivify spell from it, which allows you to revive without using any MP. Sacred Bikini is probably the best piece of armor in the entire game, but as you may be able to guess, only women can use it. Gold Pass is a thing you need for some uh, side quests, minigame stuff later. So, we'll keep an eye out for small medals. There are lists you can find online at GameFAQs and other places that will show you exactly where to go to find all the small medals. I'll be collecting as many as I can, starting... Well, already started, I guess, but... I'll be collecting more of them next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest 3 after we visit Rudra's Tavern. See you guys later.